So I just wanted to give a let him a brief synopsis of the Black Man of Fear. It's a longer clip, about five minutes. I'm not gonna let play the whole five minutes. But from my understanding, this group, um, the Black Manosphere, was designed to encourage black men to become the best versions of themselves. And the Black Manosphere is a uh, is um, very conservative leaning black man. One of the things that we're going to do on my stream is we're actually going to talk about what conservatism actually is, because a lot of brothers latch on to conservatism. But let me tell y'all something. Black conservatism and white conservatism, they're not the same. But a lot of brothers in the black manosphere will align themselves with white conservatives when white conservatism doesn't necessarily represent the interest of you. So we're going to we're going to get into that. We're going to, uh, you know, talk about politics a little bit because this is ridiculous. OK, so from my understanding, this group was designed to encourage black men to become the best version of themselves. Strict accountability seems to have been one of the more principal values. If that's the case. If strict accountability was one of the more principal values of the black manosphere. Then how in the hell. Did you allow one 25 year old white woman start a war within black men? And start that war on 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 black YouTube. For those of you who are not familiar with the issue, because there's a few people watching that might not be that familiar with the issue. Listen, I'll do my best to my ability to like recap it a little bit okay and i'm not going to go into a whole long thing about it um those of you at the beginning saw some of the clips at the beginning of of, of her of of what with the the, the confrontation was I, okay I'm talking deep, 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 deep. all right so hannah the content creator of the youtube channel called just pearly things which has over today just close to 1.5 million subscribers talks about relationships focusing on the modern woman so what is the modern woman? Well, basically, a uh, modern woman uh, who possesses very to little, no traditional values, uh, sees marriage and relationships as partnerships, and has the attitude that men need to come in and get on her page and serve her. That's kind of a short version of it, but I'm not going to get down into the weeds of that. Hannah's platform mainly focuses on Black relationship. Yeah, she has some non-Blacks on their show. But she primarily have black women on her pla her platform addressing these issues and the outcomes of being a modern woman. And then these women having the expectation that a man come come in and take them seriously. Many black men in the in the manosphere have gravitated toward the you the, the just pearly things YouTube channel because Hannah presents herself as a friendly, feminine and submissive woman who combats the idea of the modern woman. Just Pearly Things has a large following of men that come out of the black manosphere. I was on the Lapeef Network a few days ago discussing this with one of them. And um, one of the men on the panel stated that the reason why so many black people, well, the reason why so many black men support Hannah is because she earned her black card. Because she earned her black card. And how did she earn her black card? When she put a guest on the Blue Peef Network, B. Taylor, a black woman, B. Taylor in her place. Let me see. I'm going to play a few seconds of like Pearl and B. Taylor. So you guys kind of know who they are and who I'm talking about. Here you go. His car that, you know, a bunch of different other stuff. So just, you know, absolutely. All right. I'm going to go to Pearl next on that one. Women should date multiple men at times to explore their options. That, that, that's, that's not his car. Has that happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> now, is that you being a friend? Was that a genuine no, question? I was just asking. I've just never heard of that. Oh. <laughs> no, I was just asking. I've yeah. never heard of like he like picks you up in a car. Okay. That's not no, it. I mean you can answer the question. I'm, I'm, I, I wasn't trying to you. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was just asking. Um, yeah. 
Hey, this no. stuff tonight. You can be rude as you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh my gosh. So wait, what was the question? No, I mean, I don't. I just feel like men look for loyalty. So if you're like dating a bunch of guys at the same time, like I think guys kind of want to be like, like they kind of like it when your attention is focused on them. So I don't know. I, I don't think it's that good to like date multiple people at the same time. But like if a guy's not giving you attention to the point that it's like plan A attention, you know, I think you should probably just find a different guy to date. Okay. Round one. Fight. It is smart to keep your legs closed. And in today's dating world in 2022, with these type of men, they may not be like you. They they may not be like you. So therefore, these men in 2022, you need to expand your options. Or you're gonna be walking around heartbroken you are, not with the men. If it's you the, are it's trying the men, to talk to not, a dude that is not, winning. Go ahead, Pearl. It's not the men in 2022. It's the men you pick. One out of three men are either virgins or I don't pick them. They come to me, and there's there's a You are you are what you you. you, Hey, let me finish. Let me finish. You gotta let me. You jumped in between a a conversation. One in three men. One in three men. One in three men. One in three men are either virgins or they haven't had sex in the past year. So there's a plethora of men that will be faithful to you and won't play these games. They're just not the men you want. Women aren't going to be attracted. Okay. I just showed that to show you a little bit of the interaction between Pearl and B. Taylor and, and you get a little bit of a sense of her personality versus B. Taylor's personality. So, you know, when the fellow on the panel said, told me that Pearl earned her black card because she put B. Taylor in her place. Look, I told his brother straight up. I told him, you and men like you, are are weak as hell for expecting um, a white woman to come in and do your job. I told him, if you think your black woman for some reason or another is out of line for any reason, why do you have the expectation or get downright giddy that a white woman come in and do and check and quote unquote check her? It's offensive that you that this man will sit up there and get excited and talk about, give somebody their black card because some white woman came in and checked one of your sisters that you don't agree with. You need the white girl to come in and protect you. I thought I thought as a man, I, I thought we do to protect them. I have been struggling with this all couple the, the last week and a half. It, it, you know, it, am, 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 am I? Am I witnessing? Am, are the men of the manosphere? Are they just? confirming what a lot of black women think about black men. 